Uh, in the first video we show how to with the links provided in the box below we show how to adjust resource capacity uh, by adjusting the quantity within the process and if you're not familiar with this please watch the video the link in the box below but before I start please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos if you have any question please leave a comment under the video so let's see how it's done uh, I'm going to head arena head and I'm gonna click on MR I'll show it to you in a second M variable which is a resource ID resource capacity it return the number of capacity units currently defined for the specified resource okay uh, the alter module may be used to change the value of a source as an integer quantity it's always an integer quantity so I'm gonna show you how it's done I'm gonna copy this duplicate it and let's put it here so this one is resource capacity and so we need here build expression resource usage Okay, current number scheduled MI George and I'm gonna duplicate this. Let's put it here. And this one will be Tony. Okay. And I need to remind you this is an integer number, the whole number, not decimal. So if you adjust if you assign the resource capacity to one point two it will see it as one. So in both cases they are both equal to one regardless of the quantity here I need to remind you the quantity here is like you need half a person to do a job half a person requires 10 minutes to do a job uh, one person requires five minutes okay so I'm gonna put this one back to one and I'm gonna leave this one as one and I'll show you this was capacity in a few seconds so if I run this both of them they would be almost the same with queue if I run it faster the queue is building up why because the arrival rate is five minutes here exactly constant of five minutes as the service is 10 minutes therefore the queue is gonna be building up so I'm gonna consider the following we have a create assign dispose okay so I'm gonna link this one here and that one here I'm gonna just run it once so the maximum arrival is one and the assign here add other MR George okay I'm gonna copy this sorry control Z I'm gonna copy it so MR George equal MR plus one okay or MR George is equal to three Okay, so let's see what will happen. If I run the program, we have the resource capacity equal to 3. Therefore, we never have a queue. Anyone waiting is a queue here. If I put this value to 0 0.5, and it's going to see it as like 0 0.5, and we have double the values here. We have double the value here. So it's like half a person and so I'm gonna put this one back to 2 and I'm gonna do the same one for I'm gonna do the same one for Tony and I'm gonna put him as 1 as well So this one is other, just be careful. This one is other. It's not a variable. So Tony remain at one while George is equal to two. Therefore we have the queues building up. If I put this one here at one point five, okay, and we have a queue but much less than the one before. Okay, if I put this one to two, so there's no more Q in the system. There's no more Q in the system, as it's clear here, as you could see here. 
In the next video, I'm gonna show how to use keyboard instead of stopping the program, how to use the keyboard to increase and decrease the capacity. Okay, just have a look, the link is in the box below.